Oh, here it is. New laser. We got to uncrate. This thing is massive. Okay, so we finally have this crate inside that, well, what is the Texas fish room? But it is about to change in here because, but don't worry, fish aren't going anywhere. As you see, I still got projects going on in here, but it's time to get this monstrosity unbeast or unboxed, whatever. Apparently, I don't know how to say words as usual. Definitely got a lot more screws to take out, but this thing is definitely wrapped up well. Some of these screws were a pain. I couldn't get all of them out because it's hard to tell, but a lot of these screws had bent heads, which was not fun so far. But this is definitely a big old crate. Just to show you how thick this wood is on here. Let's get some more screws out. As you see, we got it unboxed or uncrated. Now, we gotta remove these small screws and figure out how to get it off this big pallet. But, as you can see, we got a huge work area in here. And this is actually a little pass-through pass door right here. Our laser back there. It's gonna be a fun toy to play with.
Don't recommend doing that by yourself. But it's off the pallet. Well, y'all, we are a few steps closer. It's actually taken me several days in between making all these videos. But I somewhat have this in its temporary home. I don't want to drill holes through this wall for the exhaust ducting because it is two six inch holes and this isn't gonna be its final resting place. I am in the process of trying to rearrange the fish room area over because I want this on the back wall, not right here by bay door. But I have so many tanks in here right now and lots of repairs I'm working on and the shop is a mess. So, but I'm ready to get this thing up and running. Let me show you what we've done so far. So what we have here is an industrial water chiller. I filled this up with two gallons of distilled water. We'll get that up and on. Because this right here is where I can actually do some cutting right now. Get this all powered on. Such a nice thing to see going right there. Now, do a few things and I'll be right back with y'all. So what I have in here is a piece of half inch plywood. I've got my design in light burn. So we'll go ahead and frame it out. I want to make sure it's going to fit on this board what i'm doing now what i'm doing it's just it's just pretty basic it's just a little cut design now i'm not sure on these settings because like i said i've never used this before my book is telling me 7 mm and 32 percent power now there we go it's gonna take approximately nine minutes and 36 seconds to cut this out. So we'll go on and close this. Turn our laser on. Make sure our water is going. It's on down there. Showing water protection on. And we hit start. And there it goes. We'll give this a few minutes. It is just about done. Of course, it's hard to see through this tinted glass, but that's for protect my eyes. Because dang sure don't want to lose my eyesight. There we go. Flip her laser off.
Oh, we appear to be stuck on that. That could be because that's a fine detail right there. But, oh, as you see, it didn't fully cut that part out. But also, it's real inter intricate. Let's check out. Still got a little bit of work to do. Like I said, this is my very first time cutting something with this. Now, I'm gonna play with this a little bit more today, get some stuff on here, try to learn this machine a little bit better, make sure I get my times and everything, set, settings all set right on this. And this right here is the start of my new business, Texas Laser Works. Now, some of the fish stuff will still be here, but this channel is gonna be end up going a little more DIY. Now, when I say that, channel name is now called Jeff Does What. Um, still got the fish room. I am am downsizing it a little bit because I do need a little bit more room in here for what all I want to do because I want to bring a lot more DIY projects to y'all. Uh, DIY is what I like to do, and I have the room in here, and I got a lot, like a lot of empty tanks in here that... I just don't know what I want to do with, and I don't want to do the breeding projects right now. I'd rather invest my time and money in something like this. But, hope y'all enjoy this. Be sure to like, subscribe, share this page around, and I hope all y'all fish room guys stick around with me because I will still be doing fish stuff, and a lot of it will still be DIY stuff for aquariums. But until next time, y'all take it easy.